Hi, everyone. I'm Elaine Quijano. Donald Trump's top strategist is swatting down reports that the GOP nominee's campaign is spiraling out of control. At a campaign rally in Florida Wednesday, Trump himself said his staff has never been more united. But his last few days on the trail are painting a much less rosy picture. GOP frustrations appear to be mounting, and some Republicans are now weighing their options. Major Garrett is in Jacksonville, Florida. The campaign is doing really well. It's never been so well united. Despite that optimistic assessment, those close to Donald Trump right believe his campaign is in chaos. A combination of self-inflicted wounds, conflicting messages, and internal disorganization. That's typified by the clash between Trump and running mate Mike Pence over something as simple as GOP endorsements. Trump has refused to endorse House Speaker Paul Ryan, implying he wasn't strong enough for perilous times. But this morning, Pence, who served with Ryan in the House, had a different message. I strongly support Paul Ryan, strongly endorse his re-election. Yesterday, Trump faulted Arizona Senator John McCain, a former POW, for failing American veterans. I've, you know, never been a big fan of John McCain. Pence met with McCain a short time later and again tried to rewrite Trump's script. Senator McCain has provided the, the kind of leadership um, uh, throughout his career that has stood up for our military, stood up for a strong America. That's not all. Trump's clash with the Gold Star Khan family, his remarks seeming to downplay sexual harassment, and his suggestion the November election could be rigged have given even ardent supporters like Newt Gingrich cause for concern. The former speaker told us Trump is making himself unacceptable next to Hillary Clinton and has to become more disciplined or he runs the real risk of losing this election. Those with direct knowledge tell us Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort has given up trying to shape or discipline Trump's rhetoric, confining himself to day-to-day -day campaign mechanics. First of all, the candidate is in control of his campaign. That's number one. And I'm in control of doing the things that he wants me to do in the campaign. As the campaign falters and Trump's remarks have drawn even more scrutiny, prominent Republicans have begun turning to his Democratic opponent. Top GOP donor and Hewlett Packard CEO Meg Whitman said on Facebook she will raise money to elect Clinton, branding Trump a demagogue who has undermined the fabric of our national character. Gingrich also told us he's still 100 percent with Trump and believes he can weather the current storm. Elaine, Gingrich also scoffed at talk of an intervention to get Trump to change his campaign tactics, saying the idea of outsiders persuading a 70-year-old billionaire supremely confident in his ways was, quote, fairly ridiculous. Major, what are you hearing from the Republican Party leadership about the state of Trump's campaign? Well, I think panic is a pretty accurate word. Uh, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what Trump is trying to accomplish. They know that his campaign infrastructure is weak and not sufficient for a national campaign. They know state directors haven't been given the resources or the strategic direction necessary to put together ground operations at the state level. And they know that Trump is creating for himself a series of negative stories that, yes, while they can try to blame the liberal media, quote unquote, you hear that a lot, they know these stories have real traction and real meaning to voters who have yet to make up their mind about this election. So they consider this by far, in a way, the worst three or four days for Trump's campaign, and they don't know what's going to turn it around. And their biggest fear, Elaine, is that Trump either doesn't see this or doesn't want to see it. And those closest to him are no longer capable of helping him see this particular perilous political reality. Major Garrett for us. Major, thank you. And later